it is one of the questions I receive the most. And today in this video, I'm trying to respond to the question of how did you learn Turkish, Kamel? A lot of people ask me, Kamel, how did you learn Turkish and how are you so fluent in it and you use it for public speaking and you actually even have an Instagram account where you fully run it in Turkish? Well, as you know, my name is Gamel. I came to Turkey in the year 2017 and I did my undergraduate and I'm currently doing my master's. I've traveled to other countries while doing this. And I'm so fluent in the Turkish language. I love the Turkish language. I love Turkey and I love the Turkish culture. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some few tips on what I did when I was learning Turkish. Some of the things that I did, some of the tools, the resources, and if you stay to the end, I'm going to share with you some of the tools and the best website that I had that I used. But first of all, I'm going to tell you, how I started learning Turkish. You know, I came here on a scholarship. And as a scholarship student, first of all, you have to go through um, a seven month of Turkish language training. It is the best of the best thing that you can ever do for yourself. If you ever have a plan to stay in Turkey, study, work, or do some diplomatic stuff over here, the first thing you have to do, if you have an opportunity, I will say, jump onto a course. Because it is the best and the easiest and the fastest way you can actually master the language if you go for a Turkish language course. Why? First of all, there are different courses and now I teach English to Turkish people. But one thing that I'm actually aware of is that the English courses are not as compared to the level of quality of Turkish courses that are given by the Turkish people to foreigners. They are very good and well trained in teaching their language to foreigners. And the teachers are very sympathetic and very great when it comes to teaching the language. They are amazing. Now, this course is supposed to take you from A1 to C1, but perhaps you can actually do from A1 to B1. And uh, this is going to be in the month of like, it's like six months because every, every, um, some of the stages, maybe two and a half months actually, but two months on average. So I think you need about six months to go through this intense Turkish language learning course. That was the thing that changed the whole thing for me. But was that enough? The answer is no. Most of us, all foreigners, we all went through the same process, but not all of us were able to speak. So let me tell you some of the secret and the things that I did. One most important thing was I was curious, curious about everything. For the first one month, I was not able to speak the Turkish language. What I did was I took time to really understand the sentence structure and then the thought process of Turkish. These are the two things that I did. And right now I teach English to people and these are the two things I tell people. You have to understand the sentence structure of the language that you are trying to learn and understand the thought process of the language. If you want to learn Turkish, you have to twist your mind from English to Turkish. Why? Because this is an example. I always give this example all the time. Most of the people who follow me in Turkish know this. You say, I am going to school. In English, I am going to school. That the subject, I I'm going, does the verb, to work, to school. We have the subject, we have the verb, we have the object. But in Turkish, it is more of like, the focus is not on the subject, the focus is on what has been done, and later on, the person who did it comes later. Okula gidiorum, that's what they say. To school, I am going. That's just an example. Now, for you to master this, it'll take some time. You might need to just go through this and change the thought process of how you think in English. Therefore, if you want to learn a language, if you want to learn Turkish, first of all, you have to change your thought process from English and start to think in Turkish. Now, the other second part, this number two, the second part I like to talk about is the other crazy uh, vowel sounds that are in uh, Turkish that will confuse an English speaker. So this video is targeted to people who actually speak English and perhaps you may have other languages and it might be a plus for you. But if you speak English, in Turkish, you're going to realize that with the alphabets, we have some alphabets which have the dots. We have the O with the dots on top of it. It's called U, U. We have the U with some dot on it. It's called U. Okay. We have a G in the Turkish language, which has a cap on top of it. That thing is called Yumushak G. Yumushak means soft. So Yumushak G means a soft G. That G is not mentioned. And the rule of this is that whenever you see this G, the next, you're not going to pronounce the G. You're going to prolong the vowel after that G. So an example is there is a word called orange, orange, that is student. So you're not going to pronounce the G. There are other words which we call, let's say, um, 
all right man it also has a g inside okay but we also have another word called let me say swan swan now swan means onion and it is actually s o you must get a n so you don't pronounce the g you prolong the e after the after the you must get we also have a word which is used in turkish a lot which is sao sao means thank you and sao actually it also has a g over there and you don't pronounce it you just prolong the o after the what after the you must get these are the only things you also have to know now the next part is actually let's talk about practicing this is the best part which with which we're going to enjoy the turkish language why because the turkish people are very caring and they love to talk and they want to have conversations with foreigners unlike in other countries or maybe other stuff i don't know i cannot say much but one thing i know about turkish people ask them for direction and they're going to give you direction they're going to tell you their names and they're going to help you out to find your place amazing people this is one thing that you have to know trying to carry up a conversation with them you just have to be casual you just have to bring out a something simple show your interest that you want to learn the turkish language and they are here to help you So when it comes to practice this is one thing that I would advise you do. First of all you can start with learning the tenses of our Turkish which is very simple. In English we have about 12 tenses or more. In Turkish these are the four main tenses that I would advise you learn. This is what they are. We have the present tense, the present continuous, future tense and past tense. Now in English just as we say let me pick up one word. Let's use the word I learn. So you say I learn, okay? In Turkish they say öğrenirim. Island that is something you do it is called genis zaman that is present tense present general tense now when you say i am learning or a new room that is i am learning present continuous i will learn or any gym all right and i learned or random now if you look at this in english sometimes we have to change certain things but in turkish it is a structured language in such a way that is going to make your learning process very simple I know you might have heard from other people that Turkish is difficult and other stuff. I speak it so good, but not because I had a special skill. It's just because I totally and I truly believe this with all my heart. The Turkish language is easy to learn because it is so structured. It's a language that I think the people who actually sat down to bring it about are so smart. Look at the way the language was structured. You realize that it's like a piece of art. That's one thing I feel about the language. Of course it might still look difficult and don't say I'm not saying it was easy and now it's difficult of course it might be difficult but these are the things you have to know now let's go back to the word learn or and make means to learn so you pick the word you take away the make mark like you learn all this make mark in turkish means to so like a verb or and make a uh, dance set make like all these ones are just to make it like what a verb so you pick the b's word or and so or and neither So that makes it island or a new room. So ER room, when you hear ER, it means like ING in English, which is very simple. You understand this when you start learning Turkish. Now, or a dim, island, or a name. Now you hear ajek, ajak. All these ones are like future things. Now, in a nutshell, this is what I want to do. This video was just to help you to understand that it is so easy for you to learn this. And the reason is because the more you walk around the towns of Turkey and you walk around the streets you realize that there are many great uh places and you see the words around and you realize that most of the words in Turkish are actually conjunctions and also combine words of other things. So this is one thing you have to pay attention to the alphabet to the sentence structure of Turkish and now let's talk about some great website that can actually help you that I actually also use. There is a book, one of my favorite book that I'm going to show here which was uh, from the Gazi University. That's one of the books that I actually use and there are other books called uh, The Hit It which is also very great. And then there is this great website, great website that I just want you to check it out. It has everything you need from beginner to the end. So how do you learn a language when you are starting? You're going to start with the alphabet. You're going to start to understand the alphabet of the Turkish language, the numbers. You're going to start to understand every single details of everything that goes into it. That's what you need to do, right? So there are many things that you definitely have to know, but it is fun, it is great, it is easy. Go ahead and start learning Turkish. Come to Turkey. It's an amazing country. Come here, let's have fun, and whenever you come around and you're in Istanbul, let me know, and I hope you like this video. Share with someone you know is trying to learn Turkish. and I hope they find some value in it. I'm going to also share down in the description some of the great websites um that I used and you can actually use also and these are my recommendations. Thank you so much for watching. I see you in the next videos.
piece. I'm out. Let's go.